roti and it looks like a net. It's very interesting. We need a theme song. Theme song. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what did we get? Today we went to a Malaysian restaurant called Kedai. We ate here once before though, but we didn't take a recording. I think I say every restaurant's like one of my favorites. <laughs> this definitely though. <laughs> uh -huh. Ignore what I said in the past. <laughs> this is my favorite. So far, it's really good here. Mm -hmm. Like interesting thing, they have this kind of bread, roti, and it looks like net. It's yeah. very interesting. It's really good. Yeah. Great in sauces. Also, it's, yeah, very tasty. And then you eat with this, this curry. So this is chicken curry, and this is coconut curry. So the coconut curry is actually for the ayam goreng, fried chicken with spice, coconut curry, jasmine rice, uh, budu sambal, and herbs and cucumber. And we also got the yes. nasi goreng uh, balakan, which is uh, fried rice with prawn, shrimp paste, Kit Kat, sprouts, yu choy, green onion, shallots, and fried onion. Hot sauce. Oh wow. I, the flavors of the chicken are amazing. Mm. Try that sauce. Mm -hmm. Chicken is really good. Let me try some of the rice. Rice is also good. Chicken is really well seasoned. It looks very similar to kind of like Korean chicken, but the taste is different. Mm -hmm. It's unique. It has some kind of seasoning. I'm not sure what they've used or what the taste is from, but there's some yeah unique seasoning taste in this chicken. And this tastes like lime juice and fish sauce. I don't know what it is, but it's really the good. The sauce is also very, mm -hmm. yeah, nice. Like sour, a mm -hmm. little bit sour. And spicy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this makes very unique texture when you chew this bread. It's very light. Light, yeah. That's really good. Is it the chicken curry? Yeah. Yeah, very much as well. And I thought nasi goreng is Indonesian. Do they share the same food? Like similarly? I think so. Hmm. Actually I'm not too <laughs> knowledgeable on that. Mm -hmm. We did have a, like a really great Indonesian restaurant where I grew up. Mm. The food was really good. I just like, never knew what I was eating. <laughs> I just ate it. Just good. Like yeah. I'd always go there, order like I couldn't go wrong with what I ordered. Mm. You just like randomly choose. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this. Is it shrimp? Yeah. Fried rice kind mm -hmm. of. Mm. I really like your fried rice. One good texture. Very well seasoned and the texture of the rice is very, it's just perfect. Oh, shrimp or prawn. Oh, these are really big pieces. <laughs> this one? Mm -hmm. I got a really big piece. Wow, that crunchy sound. The chicken is really juicy. Mm hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. You want to switch? Is it dark meat? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah the white meat is juicy. <laughs> mm hmm. It is. Which one is your favorite? I'll say the fried chicken. <laughs> oh, really? Mm hmm. Mm. My favorite is. Fried rice? Mm hmm. Onion. Mm. Equal. <laughs> We're definitely talking a lot less in this one. <laughs> and that's not a bad thing. It's just this food is really good. <laughs> I 
I think since we started this, like, the food has been getting better and better. Mm. When we first visited this place, there were huge lines, but this time there were only one couple. And I think because, of, because today is really cold here. We were about to have winter storm warnings. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I think it would have been packed. Mm -hmm. TMI. Nobody <laughs> take a video like, on Saturday, <clears throat> but this restaurant is always packed and we don't want to wait. So we are shooting it on Friday. I felt like it would be safer, especially with COVID. I'd give the restaurant a 4.9. I think 5. I want to say 5. <laughs> this is a, po a potential for 5. I just like, once we hit 5, if everything ends up becoming a 5, <laughs> that's my only fear. <laughs> what, like, what do we give a 5 to? Like, as of now, it's a 5. But like, mm. I don't want to like keep out other restaurants from attaining a five. This is definitely the best restaurant we've had while in Seattle. Like one day we walked outside and then hubby just searched food like mm -hmm. in those area. We saw, oh, there's Malaysian food and oh, I want to go there. <laughs> so that time like, okay, maybe we can go there later. And then, yeah, one day it was like, we want to go out. Yeah, what about we go to Malaysian food that you talked about last time? And we visited there. Or was it like, we did another search? We should make the story more interesting. <clears throat> so there we were, <laughs> robbing a bank. And we were planning all night. <laughs> so by the time we, uh... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, none of that happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it was pretty much simple. Like, I, I looked for restaurants, like, oh, this looks interesting, and we went. End of story. <laughs> womp womp. I also wanted an Insta pot because I heard that was a life changer, but someone didn't want one. So. But we have cuckoo. Which, only, which is better. Which only cooks rice. No, you can't cook. <laughs> but are we ever going to? <laughs> no. no. Actually, I was going to try. The... But then you're going to ruin it as a rice cooker. <laughs> so, it's like, oh, you can do all these other things if you are okay <laughs> with ruining your rice cooker. So I heard you can cook bosom mm -hmm. with the rice cooker. Mm. So I want you to try that. See? And then our rice is going to taste <laughs> like pork for like the next year. <laughs> Because Hopefully it's a bad not. thing. <laughs> it's not necessarily a bad thing, I guess. Yeah, comment down below if you think we should get a right uh, Instapot. <laughs> so people, when they tried this, we had noodle. I personally, noodle was okay, but it wasn't like, wow, this is super good. I want to have it again. Mm -hmm. So that's why we got different food, which is chicken this time. Mm -hmm. mm, I think chicken is better. Chicken is really good. Mm. I wonder what it's like to eat inside the restaurant. <laughs> oh, yeah. We never had those experiences. <laughs> Got a piece of potato. Oh, the potato is so. Mm -hmm. mm. I thought it's all chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're ever in Seattle, definitely I would recommend visiting this place. Mm -hmm. I guess at some point we can visit the more like touristy Seattle places. Mm -hmm. I mean, for now, I think we've only been to one uh, the Russian bakery. Ah, Peruski, Peruski, something like that. Their salmon salmon bread was really good. Mm -hmm. I want to try the Beecher's cheese um, store. They always have huge line, and it's right next to first Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, Ovinger's cousin. Mm -hmm. She commented for going to see it. Starbucks. Oh, the first Starbucks. No, just Starbucks. <laughs> oh, just a Starbucks. Mm. Starbucks is from Seattle. I mean, if we could visit the first one, but there are still always a packed. lot of people. Yeah, always packed. You're going to give this restaurant four, five? A 4.5? A 4.9? I'll give it a five. Mm, me too. So, wow, this restaurant is five. For the first time. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's finish oh, the video. The long, awkward goodbye. <laughs> All right. Have a good weekend. <laughs> Look at this weekend here. <laughs> Have a good day. Oh, you're supposed to end it with...
Click, click subscribe if you <laughs> enjoyed what you've seen. Down below. Uh -huh. Visit our uh, sponsors. Um, <laughs> Merchant. Uh, we don't subscribe. have any sponsors. Um, subscribe and like if you liked our video. Today's video is sponsored by Jungmin. Jungmin, <laughs> 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 Have a good day, guys. Bye bye. Let's all just stare at Hijin quietly. <laughs> I know. As she doesn't know how to end this. Mm-hmm. <laughs>